Hey everyone, another super casual review. I'm not a professional electrical engineer or anything like that. I just thought I'd throw this out there because it's kind of pricey. Uh, it's called the Lito Kala LII-S112. It's a 12-slot battery charger. It'll take lithium ion, IMR, life PO4, nickel metal hydride, nickel cadmium. But it will not charge alkalines. We'll put that to the test. Oh, two 9 volts as well. All right of those chemical uh, things here. Okay, let's see what else there is. All right. So these are the types of cells you can pop in there. And here are the specs that could be important to you guys. The cool thing I think is it can actually charge all these different uh, chemicals at the same time. Okay. There's a whole lot of instructions, but I assume not necessary. Well, we'll find out. Power adapter. There we go. Nothing else. Ah, like most things, I bought this off AliExpress. Uh, it's just the cheapest place where I can get stuff. I have no affiliation, so, you know, buy this stuff wherever you can if you want. <sighs> right. I always like the U.S. plugs. I ate those two round European ones because they don't really stay in the sockets very well. So, let's undo this. This cord... Probably around a meter. Yeah, I would say. Maybe that's half a meter. Okay. And this has CE approval, FCC approval. Won't bring down airplanes. And uh, hopefully won't catch on fire. Uh, this is, if you happen to break this or you have to replace this, it's 12 volts DC, of course. And input, where's the output? It doesn't, oh, 3,500 milliamps. What does that mean? 0.35 amps? Uh, I don't know. Okay, well, there's a little LED light on the thing. Let's see if that thing turns on. Some sort of quality control sticker. So don't don't open this or you might lose that. But then again, if I bought this out of AliExpress, I'm never going to make a warranty claim unless it breaks immediately. Like, uh, like in today. Alright, well, alright. 3.5 amps. So not 0.35 amps. I'm a moron. Like I said, I'm not an electrical engineer or even someone that knows basics of electricity. I'm shocked I haven't electrocuted myself yet. Or maybe I have. All right, so that power adapter, by the way, does turn on green. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, I see. So maybe there's banks of uh, four banks of three. Let's see, so this is just green, nothing in here. It's kind of weird that these would be green when there's nothing plugged in, you know? These aren't on, because there's nothing, nothing plugged in. Well, anyways, I got a variety of stuff, some nickel metal hydride and loops. So the positive is always at the top. It's uh, engraved in there. And then here on the nine volts, it's engraved or embossed, positive and negative. So let's see where bank number two. Well, see, that's weird. Oh, well, no, let's try this then. Channel six, I see. Well, channel five is showing up. So I don't know if these things just cycle through. Here's an 18650, different, different chemistry. Okay. Here's an anti-loop double A, so these are nickel metal hydrides and anti-loops. Here's a different brand, uh, PowerX, that's a nickel metal hydride, rechargeable. Let's see what else I got here. I think that's it. Oh, different 18650. This one has a, it's unprotected, it's a, I think it's a Panasonic cell. Apparently it might be bad.
different antelope. I like antelopes. They seem to have a good reputation. The reason I got this is, um, well, I have so many RC car controllers now that uh, <laughs> I have to buy a whole bunch of rechargeable batteries and charge them all. I really wish there would be a universal car remote control, but there's not. All right, so one interesting one. This is this should be a completely dead battery. I put it into a, a flashlight and nothing turned on. It just came with some other electronic device. It's so light. I think it's, I mean, it's full of air <laughs> compared to the Panasonic, which is quite heavy. So let's see, look for channel 9 and see what happens. Ah, see, look at this. So what I suspect is... Flashing green and red means it cannot be charged. It's just beyond voltage, uh, the voltage minimum. So, that'll tell you that. Okay, just flipping through the instructions here. One thing that was kind of important, I guess, is right here. If you're charging 12 slots, it'll only put out 0.5 amps to each of those uh, cells. But if you put only six, six, it'll jump up those six cells to one amp. So the base, basically, the thing is like capable of running six amps, right? Uh, all right. So you can hit this. All right, let me hit focus here. So right now you have channels one, two, three, four. This is poorly kind of labeled. Like it's just molded in one through four, but it's a yellow button, so it's almost impossible to see the one through four there. But that is one through four. This is five through eight, see? So it'll tell you, let me hit focus again, the capacity that's at, uh, the half amp it's going on, because there's more than six in here. It'll tell you the voltage, and then it's telling you the type of battery. So nickel metal hydride, or in this case, channel seven, we have a lithium, uh, right? So it's uh, visually telling you, you know, how and numerically telling you. So that's really cool. Uh, if we go to 9 to 12, you'll see there's an error because this thing is completely dead. It cannot charge. It's way be below the voltage level. It's been sitting in a drawer for like three years. So that's that. Now, my one concern is this is an alkaline battery. It's dead, but I'm going to pop it in here. I put tape in here because I'm going to yank it out if the thing gets too warm or catches on fire, right? Look out, cat. All right, so let's put it in channel 10. Whoa, what's going on here? It's actually charging this alkaline, but I don't think that's supposed to. Now, see, it just jumped up to 100%, and this is a dead battery. So that's a bit of an issue. It cannot recognize an alkaline and give this warning of an error thing. Okay, well, at least it didn't catch on fire. It also did say that reverse polarity, it'll protect you against that. So let's go to channels one through four. I'm going to put this in backwards. Eesh, I don't want to break this thing. Error, reverse polarity protection. So that's good. All right, back to normal. All right, I guess uh, the only minor nitpick is the, these buttons could have been black on yellow or raised, raised numbers. The numbers are literally molded downwards. So you can't take a marker and, and mark them. You could maybe fill them with paint, but uh, okay. The one last thing, uh, if for some reason, Turn it on and you don't have any batteries you can go into the mode and actually tell it what kind of batteries you want to charge let me turn this off and on again off it might be a timeout yeah that's really weird why those are on that could be annoying you know if you're trying to charge in a dark light room or something and those green lights are on Hmm. Well, it did say you can...
go into mode and tell it what kind of battery type you want to charge. But maybe that's not the case. Let me check the instructions again. Well, call me crazy. It says key mode. Within 8 seconds after the thing is turned on, click the mode key to select the type of battery. And I, I did that. So I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to turn it on. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000. So there's no, this mode key. <laughs> I don't think it does anything. But frankly, I'm not even sure why you'd want to tell it what kind of battery you're going to charge because it'll recognize the batteries in the first place, right? So, Okay, so we got a 12 going, and one would have to assume after they're charged, they might turn green, but that might take a while. This one's at 80%, 80, oh, well, yeah, this is green, but it's a dead battery, channel 6. So I'm not sure what the deal is. Before this uh, battery had an error, but now it got a little voltage in it, and now it's saying full. I just don't think this is a real battery. It's so light that it's crazy. So it's, it, I don't think it has anything in it. Oh yeah, these have a ways to go. And mode, again, I think the mode button is a waste of plastic. I don't think it does anything. Simple fix, I have one of these Sharpie fine point pen, it pens and it fits perfectly. Oop, a little too much there. Darn it. Uh, it's almost, I'm just not, not even going to color the mode because the thing's worthless. Uh, you should be able to take alcohol and wipe that Sharpie off. Yep. A little alcohol and a eyelash Q-tip. No problem. All right. All right, guys. Well, that's uh, pretty much what you've seen here. Does it have any venting on the bottom? It does. So you don't want to block the venting. In fact... I'm going to turn this off. Hold on. Okay, so you can just read all that. You don't need the instruction manual. Uh, it says nothing about alkalines. Interesting. Like, don't use alkalines. All right, well, that's it for today. I'll see you in the next random product review. Thanks for checking this out.